I've noticed down through the years that the loud shouters and absolutists in this field usually don't have much of importance to say. I've learned to listen to the calm, friendly people who don't make a lot of claims, but I've found do make a lot of sense. Mr. Blue Boy, I hear you blowing your horn, and I hear the crack of the Jimmy Crack Corn. But this is a story of a different kind, one that will amuse and amaze your mind. I'm about a young British lad named Joshua, hiked up to take a trip to America. The very same country that in house the slaves, land of the free and home of the brave. Now the picture that Joshua had in his mind was go to America and visit his cuz. And he's not really worried about what to expect because you know he gave America enough respect. Now it's an eight hour plane ride to NYC. And when Josh arrived, he was surprised to see people from all types of denominations, many, many lands of various nations. So he went to his cousins, dropped off his things, eager to learn of what America brings. To his attention, quick interruption, somebody yells out, What's up, light skin? Josh never thought of himself as light. Frankly put, he thought light was white. You that divides our races whack, stop the scene, fade to black. Street, uptown, Josh could see the people from six blocks down. All the street merchants selling African pendants, all kind of shirts bearing African print. So he stopped at a table to look at the goods. He stumbled upon an issue not quite understood. Was this true? That just two years ago, this guy was selling shirts with a Gucci logo. He thought here heritage was true, constantly studied, but not new. Does this mean it could be a fad? And now little Josh felt hell of a bad. Just think over in Britain, where he's from. Folks always seem to know where they come from. 125th Street, where it's at. Stop the scene, fade to black. Josh didn't leave when he prepared to go. Steady flow in New York made his funds kinda low. His cousin couldn't provide but so much. And so much for Josh, she was luck. Thoughts of being home turned into humility. And replaced by responsibility. Josh took the task to care for himself and his values. Now that's something else. And if you walk down 125th, you'll see a lad with a table selling all kinds of gifts. Sad to say Josh won't be back. Stop the scene, fate to black.